When the sun stopped in the sky, life continued as normal. Then the stone-armored dredge reappeared, ancient foes from the far northern reaches, and the world was thrown into chaos. Giant Varl defenders were slaughtered, their strongholds destroyed. Now Hakon is the Varl king and protects who is left of his race. Rook, a humble hunter and father of Alette, found himself leading frightened clansmen towards safety. His caravan crossed paths with Juno and Ivand, two of the mysterious spellweavers known as Menders, who know something about the massive mountain-breaking serpent on the loose. In Borsgard, a town under the protection of the mercenary leader, Bolverk, both Varl and human stood against a dredge general. The immortal Sunder, known as Bellower. Juno devised a way to stop Bellower. But it cost the life of one held dear. The saga continues. Hello and welcome to Banner Saga 2. Without any break. Uh, in what? Yes, yes. Wait, is it the right one? Tíminn líður áfram, eins og ströng þung á sem fleytir okkur áfram. Time continues washing over us, moment after moment, like waves on a coast. Some more fears, more violent than others. So few of my kind, the giant war, remain alive. Even so, I find myself wondering if humans, while able to bear children, suffer more for the loss of loved ones. Several weeks have passed since we slew the Sunder known as Bellower, but the chaos of the world did not wither as we hoped. The world is breaking. We sail aboard hastily crafted ships for the safety of Arborain, the human capital. But the river curses us with a clear view of the dreads, assaulting another hopeless village. Move away from these glowing rocks. This was mine. No, no, to the depths with you. Killing them. Damn it, Rook. Quit running ahead. Zero strength, and it's easier when they have no armor. He's down. Each time you take a kill, you run on bronze, which is this later than the characters. We know that. Without any enemy to reach, the enemy will choose to smash an obstacle in his way. Oh, that's something new. 
Now it's Hagen's turn. He appears to be out of range. Yep. And he'll need to use whatever that whatever that was. Uh, willpower. Under impact. Yep. Because he can hit front row. Okay. Just one in front of him and the other one will get hit as well. For less. Significant less. The other doesn't move on his turn, he can rest or gain one more for the rest. Looks like if there's just some trouble, it won't be able to finish the job with a normal attack. The power can be used to boost his damage. Not finished. Seriously, seriously sick. We'll try getting his armor down, I guess. Oh. Is it impossible? Hey, that bit. This one will be next. Final blow directed at your head is deflected and giant horns slam into the dredge landing you. I pulls you to your feet and run and away from combat as other fighters from your caravan rush in to finish off the enemy. I removes you past the crowd of worried villagers, ensuring you can stand on your own. I don't know what you are. He stops speaking as the village chieftain approaches. A royal leader saving a human village from those things, legends are made of much less. No royal leader, just Ivor. Those things were dredge, like the stories you probably heard as a kid. And it was Rook here who ordered us to stop. Forgive me, maybe it's never sitting sun or dredge or the deaths of so many of my classmen? I'm not myself. The man's eyes appraise you and he quickly nods. I'm Alio, the Skald. Were you trying to drive the dredge all the way back north by yourself? I wouldn't stop there. Alio looks into your eyes for a moment before recoiling. Something terrible must happen to have such a hatred for them. A topic for another time, Skald. Maybe. Of course, might if I ask more of news from Boasgard? We heard rumors the Thunder Blower was laying waste to the town. More than a rumor, but he's been dealt with. By by your cla your Sunder Slayers? The term makes Ivor wins and ends Alio's excitement. But what about the deep shaking in the ground? Only yesterday we felt a rumble like none before. Could be the giant serpent. The serpent in the sun, rather me. I'm no holy man, but talking about dead gods feel wrong. About the opposite of Radomir as it gets, these ones that are meant to swallow us all. The skull looks skeptical. Killing us sooner is a big enough tale on its own for now. Then let's get ready to leave. Not to sound ungrateful, but this place, it's all we have. It's a home. Don't be stupid, more threats are coming. Wanting to defend what's yours isn't stupid, you know that. I know this village lost fighters today, so they have less of chance defending themselves tomorrow. Rook is right. I hoped their defeat here today would keep the threat away, but when voiced, 
the Scot looks around at the small huts of his village. Borsgard is the only other place I've seen in my life. The small village is all my family knows. Are things really as tragic as you're making them sound? Probably worse. Alio looks back and forth between you and Ivor before nodding. Packing and tending to Adi, that will take some time, but I'll have everyone on the ship soon. Alio hand heads off to the village to organize supplies. Ivor, one of the giants known as Var, has fought dredge in the northern winters, personally killed the Sunder Rays and was an arm to the Sunder Blower. He has been by your side through everything, including the death of your daughter. But now you feel the wave of his full attention. What you pulled out there, fighting the dredge alone, was that tied to a lead at all? Mm -hmm. I'm trying my best to hold it all together. Keep holding it all in and you'll lose it when these people need you most. Alette was my reason for living after Aldis died. I remember, but make this curve on your reason now. There's still plenty for you to do. He walks toward the village, leaving you alone with your thoughts. Must all flee. The traveling merchants are surprisingly well stocked, even the old world dub scrivenger says. Since Borsgard and numbers have grown, people have scavenged for food and eaten it too. Regardless, we'll need plenty of supplies considering our destination. What kinds of supplies? Stuff like food and meat for the trip. The merchants have got a few interesting items as well. But folks can't eat those in lean times. You have to choose wisely. Even in renown will only stretch so far. Where can I find them? You can't miss them, he says. A group of tents they call a market. Thanks to them. Of course, he says. Oh, I'll, I almost forgot. There is something ruffling the feathers of the Ravens. The mercenaries who followed us from Borosgard trapped with their leader, Bulwark. But be careful. It's not like other Val. This medallion gives you information about the caravan, including population, supplies for now, and the number of days that have passed. Yep, that's the time of supply. Days worth of supplies. We're not sure about this market. There are the supplies that are most available. He will give you 5 per renown, and you need 9 supplies per day to survive. Okay, we have 28 worth of food. 29. Okay. And here we have items. I would like something for strength, that's very nice. Plus, ooh, that's the way I like it is. But it's for level 8. Hmm. Exciton. A. E. Exciton. <laughs> okay, yes. No, no, give me a second. I want to buy some. I want to buy something. I think I'll take this. For still strength. Yep. Hmm. Uh, no. I'll play this one. And we could... No, not. Oddleaf, your former chieftain's widow, is demonstrating fletching an hour to a few people as you approach. Give us a moment, will you? The group walks away as Oddleaf stands and wipes loose feathers from her tunic. I doubt you're here to explain your action with the dredge. I just miss her. I can only imagine. She watches you in silence, not pressing you to continue. Eventually, she changes the, changes the subject. I wanted to discuss the clansmen. They're good at scavenging for food while we travel, but we could always use more fighters. But training them takes time. I'm not sure we have much of that to spare. Then you'll just have to find a balance that works. We're okay for now, but who knows how our needs will change. I see. Thanks. You don't leave, but Oddleaf places a hand on your shoulder. We should talk, work at some point. Talk about what? You. 
not you, the leader, but the man I knew from school, girl. She gives you a faint smile and returns to her fletching. The viral mercenary leader, Bulwark, and a rather large female fighter are talking to Juno, a member of the spell within Mender's Council. Bulwark looks annoyed, nothing unusual. There is no haggling on this. We already accepted the offer in Bor's card. Get this one to do it. Get me to do what? If Juno is surprised by her presence, it does not show. She continues to stare straight at the viral. Rook is seeing to the survival of this caravan. Something I doubt you care to do. He won't be seeing to anyone much longer if he keeps fighting like the he did earlier. Again, what other task are you talking about? The determination will see these people safety to Arborang, but with respect, our discussion stays between us for now. Her look at Bulwark says she accepts him to keep it private. Expect. Eowyn needs my help of healing the wounded, but we should leave soon. See Hagen at the dock when you're ready. Juno leaves without another word. Fen Valka, one of these days, Claw and Fang will get thirsty for spell with her blood. Claw and Fang? His axes. The large axe heads are polished, the blades sharp, and the cheeks scarred from plenty of use, but it's the grey handles that stand out. They are unlike anything you've seen before. How long are you going to let Juno tell you what to do? You avoid his goading. Only to Abarang. Then it's King Mainlock's job. Like he's got the answers to any of this. He'd really piss himself if he ever saw a dredge. The big tail fighter laughs. <laughs> Have we met? I'm Volka, a shield maiden in change of keeping the ravens alive. Wolfers give her a stern look, but she doesn't back down. I already know who you are, Chieftain. I... do you have a better idea than Arborang? Yeah, make a new plan. You think some wolves and a king are going to save you? Wolfers snorts and turns his attention to a large sealed card behind him. His barrel cocked back indicates the conversation is over. And we need to rest. Mm, great caravan mark causes a plus to low power bonus in battle. Your great leadership has a lot for an uh, ample supplies and caravan rest. Well, there's just nothing left for us to do but leave. The wooden planks of the well used dog creak as you walk across them. Hakon, our recently acknowledged as king of the world, paces on the dog. Not sure I was made for this, he says as you approach. Commanding in battle is one thing, but this deciding how many chickens we need to bring. I'm just lost as you. Is that so? Hakon says. It seems like you were born to lead these humans. Maybe Vora are more yorks headed than just our horns. His laughs rambles through the dog. We're as ready as we're going to get. Let's sail. Let's sail. After lighting the funeral pyre, the last villagers find seats on your rickety longships built of scrap wood scavenging Boros Guard. The ravens find space around a large cart on their back sailed vessel, or slowly move all the boats into the river's current. Aleo looks ill. At least it's not the Parkish Sea, he whispers to himself as he steps around Boris and baggage to speak with you. I'm not sure we were all built for aquatic voyages, he says, and I hear Ambrang is quite a distance away. My people could use a few hours to rest on solid ground. The hopeful looks from others sway you and you signal for the ships to make land. Would you mind telling me why the capital is our destination? Aleo asks him. The Valka, you know, Juno says the Menders there can protect us. Menders? This calls shoulder slump. We were all hoping for something more substantial. He realizes A Wind and Juno can hear him. I thank you for healing my people, but we're talking about an army of dredge. 
The Valk and her apprentice share a smile, but say nothing. Trage, Leo says, almost in air. Men and war are stories of war from all so ever long ago. But the real and here how have they made it so far south? It's glance that the world is met with both anger and shame. The long ship rocks gently and the skull grabs a rope to steady himself. If only we had a fabled horse to ride upon, we'd outpace the dredge and be on a sound footing. His dramatized misery is almost as amusing as his thanks when he steps back on the land. This is map of the world. Yep, it is. The location of the caravan is indicated here by Rook's icon. Yes, it is. We have anyone else? Uh, the camera had tried to impact the Bruce Guard in the wake of the devastating sea tribe of Lower. Uh, okay. An aging and senile mess of a city that can't remember whether it wants to sell you something or steal everything you've got. While Orm's Dahl grew early into an important hub of trade, its sweet city Bruce Guard became the place to buy things nobody else was willing to hawk. It's greatly supported by the potent items harvested in Ravnik and Thistle, and plagued by huge disparities between the extreme rich and the suffering poor. The caravan is meant to reach Ormsdal River, on the way to Arborang. A storm led some of the first men east. Ormsdal was one of the most important places they settled, nestled in the crook where the Ormsa River splits. If Borsgard and Ormsdal were twins, Ormsdal would be the righteous brother trying to keep his evil twin from hurting anyone else. That's not so far away. In Arborang, the human capital is the ultimate goal of the caravan. It is hoped that the walls of the ancient city would provide safety against the deepening catastrophe. From humble beginnings, be beginnings to the eventual seat of power for the king, Arborang is the most populated and contested city throughout the human lands. Its staring obsidian walls have been pulled from the depths of the weaving power of the Menders. As each new generation of res residents builds another ring of walls, the city continues to grow larger, more indulgent and more dangerous. The world map is covered with many locations. Yeah, that's, that is true. Oh. Long ships. So, Manaha. Homo Menders. That's interesting. Yep. As you travel through the world, time passes. Yep. More drop stream continues travel. Yep. Time for this world for many supplies from here. Yep. And we can camp. Uh, so we are supposed to do now. Okay. When a day passes in Capi, Carvan consumes a day worth of spice and morale. Give me a second. A strangely familiar man with a spear and tattoos beckons to you. His movements are somewhat old, almost comical. You wouldn't be confused by Travis Pisons if you sp supported this journey long ago. What? The man's eyes glaze over for a moment before clearing. He now acts as like your old friend. I've lost it. Lost. What? My desire to keep going, the same as you. I understand, but you, we have to keep going, moving. Bah! You don't really mean that, but you did once, and will again, unless you go down with the ship, Captain. Trivki starts laughing. It's disturbing, and as you walk away, you hear him singing. Yellow and blue will lie to you, lie to you, lie to you. I think I'm oh hero stand. Yeah that that's what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 we should have yep, we have four more. Yeah, we need to do that. This is armor this is armor break, which is good for a hunter. Okay, that's his ability. Since the game really wants me to learn again about abilities. Tempest or Forge Ahead. Hmm. I really like Tempest though. 
especially since he has 17. Okay, yep, I will leave it at that. And I'll give him more on my break. I'm fairly sure we had... Oh, we did... We're not so low with levels. I'm going to have fur or a uh, haken and... Hmm, we have two archers, so maybe another. I really like Varls. You have full strength. You have full strength. Well, that, that does sound like me, okay? Uh, you don't have full strength, and neither do you. We'll be out of renown, but oh, cancel. Um, have anything we can equip you with? We should have something. What was that? Strength resist. We'll rest. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so we have some more. Okay. Plus two armor. Okay, give me that. Give that to 15, 14. Give it to him. Not back on Esther. Over. Go chains. Now has 17 strength. That's a lot. That is a lot. So let's leave. Shouted orders turn several ships towards the bank. You have no choice but to call all the other vessels to a halt as well. By the time you land, a crowd has gathered by the water. A man in fine clothes and a missing hand stands in the center of the others. He smirks as you approach. And here he is, the famed self proclaimed ruler of us all. Are you the reason for this delay? I don't answer questions from backwater scum, no matter how high they've risen in the bond. Then I'll stop asking. Get back on the bones. You don't know who you're talking to, do you? Uh. Look, you might not remember when we first arrived in Borsgar, but I went with Bolvar to speak with the governor. What's your point? Well, this is Ruga, the governor. Ludin, the entitled Prince of Arboran, could join you in Einartov, steps forward from the Garden Crown. The former governor of what was Borsgar, actually. Careful, Prince. The rivers are dangerous, especially this far from the Papa's side. The threat causes a few gasps from the clansmen. Rudin's bodyguard, the usually quite raw Bercy, grows, but is waved off by the young prince. The Mender and I were just discussing Rook's banner. It would make a nice addition to Boar's guards. That's not going to happy. happen. These aren't the rules of the woods anymore, Rook. You're among men now, trying to act like one. If anything, looks Rook's banner would join our ranks, or are you claiming control over the entire kingdom too? I'm just trying to guide my vulnerable prince home with some dignity and proper leadership. But it was Rook who led the fight against Bellower while you hid in your great hall, governor. Overseeing a besieged town, besieged town isn't hiding, Mender. Just fighting in a battle isn't necessarily leading. Rook kept us alive across the frozen ways. He did, cries a man. He kept us at Einhardt of too, a woman adds. Others join in, listing, listing your deeds and cheering your name. Then it is settled, no more delays. Rook is our official guide to Arborang, but will consult with me on major decisions. Everyone get back on the boats. Yes, return to the ship. The helmeted guard next to Ruga makes a gesture for only the governor to see. Ruga laughs as the crowd disperses. Prince, your guide has a lot to learn before Arborak. <coughs> I 
ahead, the driftwood has collected, creating an impressive barrier for the long ships. Alternatively, going ashore has its own risk from whatever might be looking at trees. Mm, bank the ships and set all axemen to chopping. Once the land, you, Ivor, and anyone else with an axe start hacking away at the wood blockage. Threading sounds filled in air. From the side, Erga says, We've got company, as Ridge approached from the woods. You realize others will have to hold them off until you have cleared the driftwood. Okay, we are about to enter the battle. Okay. Oh, so we... Ah! Typical. Okay, A wind. Grace and Chroma, I guess. Even though we can't really... Oh! A wind, A wind. What do you want to take? I will give... No, I won't give you armor. We still will rest. I guess I'll give you some will. No, is there something? No back. Crit chance. I don't think crit goes well with will. That's something. Crit. Dodge. Strength. We have a will. Gluding. What? Okay, we have the will. No, it doesn't really matter anymore. Here we go. Yeah. Let's get ready. In the point of you in Swin with Pip Pip. You will take with a wind, he will take with him I'm ready. I want you to get over here. Still have to get through. And that is good for us. We need to stand here. Look, there's no way she can reach there. Get the debris cleared! Hurry! I think he's gonna be get blocked by that tree. Lightning, nope. Man, that we don't need camping. Oh, damn it. He will move next. Okay, so he has will as well. Yeah, right. Yeah, he is gonna get... <sighs> blocked by the tree. Damn it. Can't you attack, like... Uh, from the... Uh, kills? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, never mind. You can keep him for five. That's eight. That's a lot. I don't like that. I really don't like that. What happened? Here. And you start lightning. Oh, you can hit. You can't hit him. I can never tell how it's gonna work, so I'm just very sure he's gonna get hit. Or not. Hit him. Hit him. It's still fine, so that's okay. We'll get his armor down. He will run away. Okay, it goes back on his turn. You're not okay, you're definitely not okay. Wait, 
what does your ability bring the pain? Place some normal pressures, okay. I guess we're fine. You can mend. We need to be careful because this might not be the only turn we need to defend. Oh, he can hit like this. That's what this, that's the deal. The spear. You hear the axman cheer as the blockage of wool breaks up and disappears down the river, but the wretch are half regrouped. One of them looks especially menacing. The fighters around you are tired, but could buy everyone else enough time to safely board the ships. We'll try. We'll join the others when we finish our job here, we say. Those around you laugh and brace for another round of battle. That's the menacing one. Twenty. Oh, he has twenty-one. You have three. Uh, this one's gonna be next. So we can safely stand over here. Look. Safely. He will block him. No, he won't. God damn it. Oh no, that's bad. That's, that is very bad. You can hit him. How far can he get? Wait, wait, wait. How many do you have? Five. Use three, right? Yep. Eight of eight out of twenty-one. Yeah, definitely. And he's down. What? Bring the pain. <sighs> I don't really wanna. No, I didn't acknowledge that. to mend them. Really. No, not him. Yep. Because they need to get full armor first. Uh, this one is an exception. We probably kill her? No. Oh, that, that, that's... Good. That's honestly good. Oh, oh, okay. We just need a way to keep mending them. him now. But now she can bro she can nearly kill him. Which 
one's next. I think this one is next. I try to kill him. Oh, he's down. Uh, so I need you to get over here. And maybe use the lightning. I honestly have no idea how this works. Kill this one. Make an opening, basically. Keep mending. Kill him. Okay, he didn't get here. That's perfect. Oh, this one. Yeah, they are all there. They just annoy it yet. Even Eowyn. Yes, and we need to rest for them to heal up their injuries. Some of our here. Okay, yep, he said what I just. We might make it down this river to the capital without any more trouble. Look up, I've inspired by optimism. And I might sprout wings and start flying! Would that make up for a missing arm? Hey, I get to make jokes about losing my arm, not you. I suppose that's fair. So, what are you worried about now? I think we should make use of this trainer and his stand that we hold around everywhere. You've led fighters in battle before, but there's always more to learn. So let's bang the ships and challenge your skills a bit. Yeah, but we'll do that tomorrow. Okay, we haven't done this. Yep, there, this is a training camp. Well, come in! Uh, come on in and let's have a look at you, Sven the trainer says. For a quick ass assessment. Says, yep, looks like you'd stand to learn a few things. I've got five challenges for you. Uh, I've got five challenges for you, and if you can finish them all before we get to our barrack, well, I'll let everyone know you've impressed me. <laughs> Sven's stuff is full of film. film. Let's start with a few of the basics. You think about what he's saying? You fill up the challenge? Yeah. Then we begin. Sven barks. Okay, I guess we'll do this. Then we will end this part. Okay, for machine walking enemy using puncture, use heavy impact to damage three enemies at once. Oh. When Hakon or any of our warrior attacks a target, all enemies adjacent to the target also take damage. Puncture? If your archer is stationary and the enemy's armor is damaged, kill him. Pushing radar adjusted to the eye. We basically want me to do that. Hey. 
she might have a chance to kill him. They are really trying not to get them all lined up. Do you have... Oh, you have... I think you have enough. If you're actually station... Oh. Okay, stationary. So now Haken has a chance to... No, wait. That's good. She is stationary. And we killed an enemy. We can win on. Whoa! That's. That's. A fair amount of renown for that. Okay. But that's gonna be it for today. Cut them up. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!